Hello everyone, my name is Gerardo Gamber, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Alpha 8.1. Now, I have actually spent a little bit of time here, um, oh, <laughs> ladder's a little glitchy, a little bit of time here upgrading my old little shack into a larger, um, shack. This is the old one here that we last left off at, at Alpha 8. Um, and since then, I've been a little bit busy off camera, and I've got myself a little hole here for a future mine. Um, this took me a couple of days to do, and I didn't get as much done as I had hoped to. As you can see, I did not fix the roof. Um, I did add in a little window, which apparently the new alpha glitched. Let's make ourselves a torch. Yeah. I'll fix things. Not really, because I can't see it. Well, these are windows. Um, and I can no longer... Well, that's not good. Um, okay, well, I don't want to have to start a new world since I did all this work. Why can't I see my windows? <gasps> Why can't I see my windows? Oh, this isn't good. Um, well, yeah, alpha is alpha. Oh, the window blocks have been changed completely. They no longer exist. That's not good. Um. <laughs> Great. So I've got black spots everywhere. That's, that's just lovely. Um. Let's ignore those. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I may have to start a new world, but, uh, for now, um. I'm gonna at least show off the world that I have and, uh, what I've done. So this is our same little cottage here on a hill, middle of the woods. Um. They've changed a few things in Alpha 8.1. Uh, that includes adding dirt underneath snow. Before, it was just lots of snow until you reached, like, uh, rock. And they've changed that. Um, so now that there's more dirt versus snow, and I guess that was to counterbalance the whole um, just digging a huge hole or blasting it and getting a shitload of snow for water. Um, so they've made that considerably more realistic because there is, you know, unless there's feet upon feet of snow you're not gonna see that in real life um, but what did I do other than this building? Well, not a whole lot. I defended against two hordes two waves of uh, roaming hordes and they both came around this location um, I think one of them came a little bit from this way so they must have migrated from these richer homes to my area over here and I realized this is not the best spot. Um, after getting two hordes in two days, um, and defending against one and the other one, I kind of juked and pulled around here, and then I came back. Um, we're next to three prominent spawn locations, and that's not very good. Um, I'm a little terrified. <laughs> I don't think... I, I, I'm going to probably start a new world, because I'm noticing now that that uh, thing is all messed up. These are windows, and they're just dead spots now. I can't even can't even punch them. Um, it was just kind of sad because I put a lot of work into this and I was hoping this would jumpstart um, Alpha 8. I didn't realize they were doing a um, an Alpha so soon. I wasn't able to record during the weekend. I'm just now getting this video recorded. Um, so Alpha 8.1 it was unbeknownst to me until just now what, what would happen when I loaded up a game world. Um... So, yeah, um, and I'm noticing some problems with character movement again. Um, and I'm assuming because it's an old, outdated world, an older world. Um, so, yeah, what are we going to do today? Well, I would very much like to continue working on the house, but that's kind of why I pre-built a lot of it, so I wouldn't have to. So, what I'm thinking is I'm going to go out and try to get some more supplies. I got pretty lucky with food. I made a... What was supposed to be a quick jaunt into a kitchen turned into an epic struggle for survival. Um, and I didn't... Oh. Oh. Um, that's pretty damn scary. Yeah, uh, that's another horde. This is not a good location to live. I thought it would be. I was wrong. <laughs> I, I'm like whispering. Yeah, see, you can see them glitching on the map there. They, they, uh, they're appearing. I don't know why. Um, 
probably because they're running through grass or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's the third horde that uh, I've encountered living up here. Um, and I didn't record any of the stuff previously. Um, again, this building this off-camera was an attempt to get everything set for the series, and however long Alpha 8 was supposed to last, but it didn't last very long, and we're already at Alpha point one. 8.1.1. <laughs> wow. Um, I remember Alpha 1.1. I'm so fucking old. No, it's alright. Uh, yeah, so I think today it's already 7, so let's put some more stuff away that we don't need. And we're gonna go and I think get some corn. And I always say, yeah, let's get some corn, and it, it never ends out well. We always end up scared and sad because of the zombie dogs. And our bed is right here, so let's put it somewhere else. There we go. There's our bed. Um, I was going to drop. we got to hurry up because daylight will not last forever. Um, we do not need the magnum ammo because we don't have a magnum. We don't need the 10 millimeter. We don't even need the 9 mil, but I'm going to keep it on me just to end the shotgun ammo, just in case. Um, I would very much like to have crossbow bolts, though. Because I'm running out. I made a crossbow and ran out subsequently quite fast. Um, we have water on us, actually. So I've done a lot here. And I got a double door here. And there's still zombies around my house. Oh, that's a boomer. Or is that my stomach? I think it's my stomach. <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> we scared ourselves a little bit. I pooed on the ground and I fertilized the forest. It's it's fine, really. It is. Um, I don't think there's going to be any jump cuts this episode. Normally, I like to jump cut a lot on purpose because of fraps, memory usage, and storage space. It makes it easier to edit. Hey, there we go. We got some more stuff. Um, but I don't think there's going to be any jump cuts this episode. And we forgot to load. We're an idiot. You know what? Let's just let him live. Or, dur, or dur. Yeah, we're gonna let him dur a bit there. Um, that's what I say. That's what zombies are. They're not alive. They're not living. They're dur. They're not quite dead either. Screw that. We're not even gonna pick up those books. They don't seem to help us. Um, so we're actually not that far from the farm, which is good. I mean, it's just down the hill. It looks like a good distance away, but we're literally up there. This is still not a very good area. We're gonna save our ammo. We're gonna need it. Um, so one of the things they did change, and I don't think we'll see it on this older map, and I don't really want to stay around to find out, is, uh, lights. Ooh, corn is falling. That's cool. Um, so the lights on the... <laughs> apparently you can pick up individual segments of corn now. That's interesting. It's realistic, I guess. You're not going to be snapping the entire stock off and taking it with you. It's like, fuck you, Farmer Brown, I'm taking it. Um, but the lights on lampposts now light up at night. And... Corn. I wonder, does the corn... Yeah, the corn falls on the ground. That's awesome. Um, so, yeah, hello. <laughs> if you build it, they will die. And he left a swath of corn. At least the corn drops. I mean, it's something we just did um, so these lights will, well, any lamppost with light will, um, light up at night. I don't know if they'll stay lit. Well, this one doesn't have light, so fuck that. Um, we have eggs that we don't really need. I just don't have a use for eggs. I don't. I mean, what, what, what can I do with them? <laughs> can I scramble them yet? I think I can. I just don't know. Um... So we're going to get attacked by zombie dogs pretty soon, because they always spawn around here. I kind of wish that was more randomized. I hear something moving fast, and I don't know if it's all the zombies just redirecting their attention, but... Oh, there's the dogs. There's the dogs. Ow! Okay, that's a house filled of zombies. Okay, that's a lot of zombies. Um, I would very much like a shotgun, please. We only have one arrow left. 
I'm gonna go in here because sometimes there is, in fact, a gun. Nope, just food. Just food. Uh, yourself. No. Stop. I know he's gonna climb the ladder. I know you're gonna climb the ladder. You're thinking about it. And I don't want you to. Hey, doggies. How you doing, doggies? What's up, doggies? Oh, you're so mean. Oh, you're a mean doggy. You just don't eat me. There's nothing in here. There's no reason for me to be here. Ah! <laughs> the only reason is to die. Hey, actually, they do work. That's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna run the hell away. Ah! That's really cool. I like that. That That's adding to the ambience. Like I said, it's what this game is capable of doing that makes it amazing. It's why it's reached this point. Okay, well, these windows work. Um, they're slowly destroying... Let's fix that and be a jerk. Hell? Oh, that's an airplane. I didn't even recognize the sound. It was so close. There was nothing in here. Oh, my God. Um, okay, so, yeah. There are now random airdrops. You know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's go for it. Uh, is there any others? No. Sometimes you get lucky and they drop like three. Um, so they've added airdrops to the regular game here. And this means that we can get some extra supplies where there were none. Um, and that's good. That increases the longevity of the game. Like I said, theoretically, if you were to never upgrade and never... If you were to play this game so much that you've scoured every resource, all the wood, all the water, well, I mean, water stays, but glass, you've gotten all the sand, you've destroyed all the grass, you've destroyed, you've, you've taken everything from a cupboard, if you were to do that, then you'd have nothing in the game, and there would continue to be nothing. However, despite zombie spawns, but, um, however, this is a way of increasing the longevity of the game, and I quite like this feature. This makes sense. Um. <gasps> whoa! <laughs> oh, damn. Um. First of all, Merry. No! <laughs> Merry Christmas to me! Um. Okay, uh. Oh, man. I can't tell what half this shit is. We don't need this much corn. I mean, I got corn, but. Not that much corn. How are we gonna. Oh, man. This is. This is. Oh, damn it. Oh, where'd that other plane go? I can't tell what I'm picking up now. <sighs> Screw it. We're just gonna blindly pick up stuff. What the hell is that? It's an SMG, but it's silver. Oh, great. I'm infected. <laughs> I want all this loot! <laughs> Give me all this loot! Um, damn. Well, we've got antibiotics, so we're gonna use those. Um, I don't really... <sighs> Please, just use it. Okay, thank you. Okay, yep, can I... Yeah. I want the SMG. Why is that one silver? Where did we put that? No, it's just it appeared that way. Okay. Well, that was a waste. Um, what I forgot was when you pick up those crate boxes, they explode. And, yeah, it makes collecting them impossible. Um, well, the good news is we've got guns. Hello. The bad news is I am going to be restarting this world because my windows are effed up, and a lot of the changes aren't going to appear. I'm glad the lights appear. That's really cool, but... Hey, let's go visit Deersville while we can. Let's visit Deersville. We haven't been there in a while. You know? I can't remember the last time I was there. I really can't. So we're gonna go there. We've got, um, a lot of supplies on us. And probably more than we should because we have no way of, um, dropping it safely without losing Hey, Bonnie, how you doing? Show me the way to Deersville. Let's go. Let's go on an epic adventure. <laughs> He's gonna lead us on an adventure. 
you're gonna find gold and dragons and all sorts of crazy... No, he's gonna drown himself in the river. No, bunny! Oh, he lived! He lived! He has been risen again. No, come back! I thought you loved me! <laughs> We're gonna keep following this bunny rabbit. Guess why not? Hey, this is where our old, our old house is, and like that, the bunny has vanished. Wait, nope, he's over here. <gasps> he's brought me back to my old house. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah, that's where we had our uh, one of our other houses above the lake. That was a uh, surface lake house, and we did okay. Um. We only had a few problems, if I remember correctly. That was a while ago, and I've lost the bunny again because I wasn't paying attention. Well, you know, he led us somewhere cool. Um, not to Deersville, though, so kind of lied. <laughs> We're going to head there anyways. There is a church over there, and I don't want to go there. It's just going to be more sadness and zombies. Um, too many to count. <laughs> hey, yourself. Stop it. Please. Alright. Um, now, I might as well just, you know, talk about something here. Um, a little sadness when it comes to a game. Since we're talking about sadness and death, <laughs> not really any death, but um, there is a video game called Dying Light, and I said I was going to do a video on it. And I was really excited, and I was counting down the days and all that, and we've got too many feathers. Um... I was counting down the days, and it turns out the game actually got delayed um, to 2015. It got pushed back. Or 14. It is 2014. Wow. Um, yeah, 2015. And I'm really kind of sad about that. I'm actually very sad, not kind of. I am very sad about that because I was really looking forward to it. Um, just because it was a different sort of game. I, I'm not really into the whole parkour stuff, and... The fact was that it was the Dead Island we were promised originally. Um, it's made by the same people. They they had promised us things in Dead Island that they never gave us. And, you know, freaking... They talk about this game, and they're saying, yeah, this is everything that you had wanted. Everything that we had said we could give you. And I don't know now if it's going to be, if they're delaying it. Or maybe that's a good thing. That can be the thing. Um games can be delayed and they can turn out really great because of the delay, or they could completely bomb because of the delay. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to expect at this point. I hear another... Hello. What are you doing? In the name of love. Oh no. No, 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 no. Eat car, bitch. Okay, you could not explode and save my life. Explode on the puppies! Damn, cars got durable. Okay, good, good, good. There we go. Well, that didn't actually do anything, so... We're just as screwed as we were a couple minutes ago. Uh... <laughs> uh shit. Alright, alright. No, we're good, we're good. We just, you know, created a small little crater here. And, um... Yeah, it's an art project. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that Dead Island, uh, not Dead Island, uh, de de Dying Light, sorry, it's essentially Dead Island, it has the same exact character physics, um, the only difference is the game's good, apparently, uh, you can run and jump off things, like, if I wanted to, and dead, it, uh, I, did it, I did it again, Dying Light, you could just go, raw like that, and then climb this thing, um, but it's, I just realized I'm attracting a whole bunch of zombies here. Uh, but it's cool. It's cool. Um, I'm hoping that when it does come out, it is not a flop. I'm a little cautious now that they've delayed it. And that's... I have every right to be. As a consumer, you have a right to be concerned when a game just decides, you know, we're, we're not liking the way it's going. And that could be for good reason or bad reason. They might change things, and it might be utter shit. I'm hoping that when I do bring you guys Dying Light, when I'm actually able to play it and show it off, you guys are going to be like, hey, this game is amazing, why haven't you gotten it sooner? And I'll be like, well, because it got delayed and all that, and yeah, I'm glad you'll enjoy it. Um, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm hoping I can enjoy it. That's that's the key word here. Hoping. Because I don't know at this point. Hello. How are you? You're dead. 
very much dead. I realized recently that you can actually see through their mouth, and I don't know if that's intentional or if that's a massive glitch. I'm assuming these are placeholder zombies, as they will eventually be upgrading the graphics on the zombies, um, like they did everything else. That looks so cool. We're gonna stick around till night to see what these look like, because I'm enjoying what they're doing with the lights here. This house looks different. This wood is uh, pretty aged. It's really creepy, actually. <laughs> Hello, Billy Bob. Do you live in here? Wow. There's nothing in here. Door kind of lagged. Like, everything else is fine, but the door... Look at that. Okay, they're gonna have to fix that. Um... <laughs> so I think we're gonna stick around here for a bit. And we're gonna see what the night has to offer when it comes to that. Oh, great. It's one of these homes. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. They've once again changed the windows. That is so freaky cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Can I open the windows anymore? No. No, you cannot open these windows. Ugh, grungy sink. Mind you, this is supposed to take place a good amount of time after, you know, the apocalypse, so... What you what you have here is a desolated kind of area. Um, what I think they should do with these cabinets is actually make all that sink rusted, but do it randomly so there's certain sinks that are rusted and others are just you know icky like this. It, it, this this brings in the the whole realism of it. it. It feels like I'm playing. I know it's all blocky, but despite the way the game looks, it feels like I'm playing a realistic zombie horror simulator. I still think the uh, field of view of the gun is a little too close. Um, and I may, may not have actually said that in any of my other videos, but it does... That's the one thing now that appears to be a little bit strange. That my character's holding the gun, pressing it up against her face, and is just like, <laughs> oh, zombies, zombies, oh, survival, oh, oh, Minecraft. Um, and I just feel it's a little... That's the only thing right now that's a little bit unrealistic. Besides, obviously, the character graphics. they got to improve some of that. But they are going to be creating um, customizable character skins pretty soon. Like, Well, not custom. What I mean is different selectable body parts and things. That lighting is so good for this game. Like, I love it. If this game had had Minecraft lighting... What, do you remember? Does anyone remember when Minecraft first came out? When you'd put down a torch and everything would just light up. Hell, this game had the same problem early on, but look what they've done with it since then. It's only been, what, a couple of months now? And it's so cool. It even has bloom. As I look at it, it starts to blink. Ooh, flashy. It's gorgeous. It really is. <laughs> um, that's, that's really neat. I like that. They're doing good with this. We're probably going to die here, but uh, hopefully not. I just want to look at this other... Could I look at this other home? Oh, look at that. That is just gorgeous. Yeah, as we move, you can see the light glinting. There's another one down there. Over here. Oh, that's so cool. Now they got to get that to go down. Because right now it's just illuminating the area around it. But once they do that, this game is complete. Like, I am so happy that they've put as much work into this as they have. Um... Like I said, it's what a game is capable of that really matters. It's not what it looks like at face value. Uh, we're going to drop that. And we're going to equip the torch. So I'm going to end this episode here. I'm sorry this episode was a little bit lax. And it was more or less me just talking about random things and exploring. The doors appear to be fucked up right now. I think that's because this game world is a little old. Um, I will be doing another game world... Um, after this. I am disappointed to lose my home after I've worked so hard on it. Is there a basement here? No. I can't get through the door. <laughs> no, there's no basement. Now I gotta get through this tricky door. Ooh. Yeah, there's something wrong with this game world. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video and that I can bring you a better playthrough because this one was just a little you know, explorative, and just wandering around in the dark. <laughs>
because my home is glitched and my windows are screwed up. Um, so we're going to sit by this fire. And we're going to get warm. Because the next time I play Seven Days to Die, we're back out on the road. And we're going to try... Um, I, I have looked at the comments recently, and some people were interested in better uh, fortifications, as I often get raided by zombies. And I'm thinking we're going to go back to living under the water. Um, so that means I'm either going to go back to my old stomping ground spillway. We're either going to go here. Maybe we'll switch things up and go here. Not a very good place to be, but when you're underwater, you know what? We might even go to the desert. I don't know yet. We're going to try something. Um, we're going to go to a watery area. This would actually be beautiful. I would quite enjoy living in one of these lakes. I don't know. It might, might just go to one of them. This is a good spot because you've got a lot of cabins. Um, unfortunately, that does mean you have a lot of zombies, so maybe that would be better, and we could hit that road there to get supplies. Um, that does limit us with gathering things outside of there, but still, it's intentionally hard up there. <laughs> uh, my name is Garrett O'Gamer, and thank you so much for watching. Um, my character's about to be homeless again. After we found all these guns... Oh, oh spaghettios. Okay. Well, might as well go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no, this this is not good. Not good. Not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> not good. Oh, I can't see. It's so dark. It's so dark. Oh, oh god, that did blow me up. Oh, they're coming. Oh, that's making me nervous. No. Oh god. Our last supper. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. That that brings the adrenaline back into the system. Alright. Um I will see you guys in the next episode of Seven Days to Die. <laughs>